we got to talk about the mountaintop because that's the first time I I I became aware of you, and Aww. and I don't know if you remember, but I reached out to you on social media because I was in awe of you because you were like 14 years old and you wrote this incredible <laughs> play uh, <laughs> about the last night of Dr. King's life, Dr. Yeah. Uh, you know Martin Luther King's life. It stars Samuel L. Jackson as Dr. King and Angela Bassett as a fictionalized hotel maid. Um, Kame. And it was such a powerful, powerful piece. So you were in your 20s when you did this and you allowed us to humanize Dr. King. We got to see him as a fully dimensional person. He drank, yeah. he smoked, he got angry, all of it. And, you know, might have been a little bit of adultery hinted at as well. Now mm-hmm. with Dr. King's image and words being co-opted by everyone, including white mm-hmm. supremacists. Don't mm. you feel like now is the time more than ever before to uh, to mount that show again? I think you, you, it, it would really be of great service. It was. It's so interesting. I'm actually having conversations right now about how we can, once everything moves forward, once we can, move, you know, figure out how to open up the theater safely to do that show because it is so relevant. You know, this idea that as 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 heroes, you have to be, you know, extraordinary in order to, to change the world. It's like, no, you don't. You ha- you mm-hmm. can be ordinarily extraordinary. You can, uh, you, you can, you know, have these flaws and still, um, you know, uh, push our world forward. And that's really, that's the reason why I, I, I wrote that show. I wanted people to understand that, you know, Dr. King had struggles. He was a human being, even though, you know, we considered him a saint. And so to be able to mount that show in particular, particularly because the way that it ends, it's like a call to action. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's about, you know, invigorating a community that is sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like, I would love to be able to remount that. And like I said, we we started conversations. I just hope that we can, because you know, this COVID, this Rona child, I don't know, I know. what. <laughs> exactly. I She's a disaster. <laughs>